Hey everybody, it's Alex here, and on today's episode of The Yabonk Show Live, we've got another awesome show for you today. How is everyone doing? How's your Friday night or Saturday morning, wherever you're watching from? I'm over here in Florida, and it's about 7 p.m. Eastern time for me here, and welcome to the show. I've got a bunch of updates for you, because I know we missed uh, the show last week because of some uh, stuff that was going on over here. Things have been crazy lately, as I'm sure you've heard. But uh, I, I'm going to cover a bunch of stuff today, including animal sanctuary updates for you guys. We got a lot of stuff that has been happening, including we had our big volunteer day uh, just the other weekend. Uh, we, uh, I have more updates on Henry uh, and his surgery recovery. Uh, Kyle the rooster, I've got some updates on him and uh, some other construction projects that are currently ongoing. Then I'm going to give you guys some DeFi and crypto updates, uh, and I'm going to give you some updates on my latest plays and what I am going to be doing next uh, in terms of uh, my portfolio and where I, I see some uh, where, where I see my next play. I've, I've, got a, I've got a big play coming up. And then um, I got some more videos coming down the pike, and then we're going to do uh, our giveaway, like, like, like always. And yeah, so that's the agenda for today. How are you guys? What's going on? I missed you. It's been too long. It's been two weeks. I almost never, uh, you know, take a, a week off from the Yabonk Show Live. So when I do, I, it feels like I haven't talked with you guys in so long. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of friendly faces uh, in the crowd today. We got Abdul. How you doing, Abdul? Good to see you. We got Ashley Wickham. How you doing, Ashley? Good, good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I hope Seely's doing well too. Uh, Down home crypto, we got Serenity, Jim Longdon in the house. What, what? He said, woohoo, he made it. Great to see you, Alex. Great to see you too, Jim. I, I'm happy to see you, buddy. And Wild Angel DHC said, hi, Alex. How you doing, Wild Angel? And uh, everybody else, good to see you too. Uh, what are you guys drinking tonight? I'm, uh, I'm just, I've been hitting the coffee hard. Uh, <laughs> I've barely been sleeping for weeks, all right? So things have been so intense. And I've just been hitting the coffee and the green tea super hard. Probably not good for me, but um, I'm uh, I'm just plowing through so much work right now. Oh, that's strong. I put like, I put like five teaspoons of instant coffee in here, and it's like an espresso. Whew, that'll wake you up. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. Where do I begin? Let's start with the animal sanctuary updates. I know a lot of you guys come to the show. To, to get your, your weekly Karma Farm Sanctuary fix. So here at Karma Farm Sanctuary, uh, we recently had our big volunteer day. I know I, I probably briefly mentioned this uh, over the past few weeks. We had uh, at probably a dozen or so volunteers show up uh, to Karma Farm Sanctuary to help us install over 500 feet of fencing and fence off this giant pasture that we've been working on forever, as some of you know. So that was a huge help. I'll show I'll show you guys a picture here so you can see some of these wonderful people that support us. All right. So here uh here was the volunteer crew. Uh some of them I I I I we I don't think we got everybody in the picture but thank you all to all you volunteers who came out to Karma Farm Sanctuary and helped us out. Uh some of you uh even brought like equipment like somebody brought their tractor and uh and they were moving trees and stuff that had fallen down to help us clear space for some other pastures we're going to be doing next after this one you can see here along this uh big fence that uh they they helped us with and it's over 500 feet of fencing and that would have taken us forever just the two of us with our crazy schedules so you know with a dozen people they were able to hammer that out in uh in one day uh you know before it got dark and it was just awesome it put us weeks or months ahead of schedule on those build outs so thank you guys so much you guys are amazing at all every one of you that came here and every one of you that donated to help us get the materials for this pasture uh fence job we love you thank you so much and it's going to go towards the new goat expansion so the goats are going to be moving into this area and then we're going to be using the old goat area for Henry uh, when, when he is ready to come here. So thank you guys so much. 
that literally saved us weeks and months uh, of 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 us trying to build this piecemeal a little bit every day. Uh, we still got more work to do on it, and at uh, at the current moment, um, we are building Henry's house in that area. Um, well, technically, this would be the new goat house. All right, so the new goat house is going in up in this area right now. And it's currently being built. Uh, thank you uh, to Kelly's parents who came uh, and, and are visiting us right now. They are helping with that build out and they were working on that today. It's looking great. Um, yeah, so it's super exciting to see things moving along. It's like every time I step outside, it's like more has been built. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm in here just like wheeling and dealing and doing videos and crypto and business and trying to make as much money and fundraise me donations as possible to fund all this. And I go outside and it's just like it, more and more has changed and built. It's really a cool experience. Uh, it's surreal though, especially since I have no concept of time and time just like warps in like my little bubble of a world. And I step outside and I'm like, what year is it? What has happened? Who's done this? <laughs> but it's amazing because it's all good works and it's just like a blessing and it's like miraculous to me and my feeble mind every time I step outside and see these changes and there's so many people involved now not just me and Kelly but like just everybody involved this huge community and all of our supporters so it's just this magical thing that I'm just like I'm just like swept up in it and it's really something I'm so grateful and thankful for to be a part of it even in whatever capacity uh, I, 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 I have, um, my camera's not focusing on me. Hold on there. Uh, nope. What is my camera focusing on? All right. Let's see if that did it. Okay. There we go. He's fancy. Um, these, the, I, I've got one of those fancy cameras now and I, I, I don't know anything about it. It's so confusing. There. <laughs> But uh, all right, let's see. Um, Ashley said, yay, so happy the volunteers made it out. Ah, me too. And it was a bigger turnout than we expected. Uh, you never know with volunteer days like this, but they, so many people came and they were all so helpful and they were just right to business too. Like they were just like, what can we do? Let's, let's go, go, go. It was so awesome. And they also uh, helped uh, power wash a bunch of the waterfowl. Uh, pools so the ducks and the geese you know those pools they get algae caked on them over time even if we change them every day or every other day it's still like that it, it gets so hard to clean those things um once there's like that green film on it and the they helped us power wash those so that was huge um just so much other stuff uh so mike and tanya brought they brought um kyle a new house. So they donated a house for Kyle. Let me see if I've got a video of that. I do. You're going to like this. All right. So here's Kyle's new house that was donated by Mike and Tanya. This is an old chicken coop. They no longer needed. So we we disinfected it from uh, top to bottom and we put it outside. And this is Kyle's uh, daytime area. Well, he's still in recovery and quarantine, um, but he's got his own little space now outside in the sun. I'll go ahead and play this. Good job. Look at that beautiful chicken coop. So we've uh, secured it as best we can uh, with hardware cloth uh, along the sides as well in the grass to prevent uh, any digging animals um you know coyotes raccoons you name it and uh he's doing great so that was one of my other updates and i guess while i'm talking about uh kyle i'll give the rest of his update i've got another video here we go okay go, buddy so he lives in our bedroom right now Oh. So he's trying to eat on his own now. Oops. So he's uh 
he, he's being hand fed at the moment and he's been eating Good job. food and water on his own as of about two days, three days ago. So that's huge. You know, he was so uh, beaten up and brutalized that uh, he couldn't eat or drink on his own. Syringe feeding him for weeks. The point where look at him, he's trying his depth perceptions a little messed up still because his, and we think maybe his eye got damaged or he got a concussion. I don't know, but he's trying his best and he's, he's a sweet, sweet rooster. He really is. And it's so heartwarming to see him now being able to eat and drink on his own and to see him out in the sun, you know, hanging out, kicking at the ground and, and looking for stuff and it, crow in like that. Yeah. yeah. Look at him. It's just so cool to see an animal that was on the like the brink of death <laughs> to come back and make a recovery. It's uh it's really something. So he's a good bird. He really is. We've got hey, we got blockchain poodles in the house. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. He said LFG. Good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're making a bunch of money uh right now uh in the crypto market like I am poodles. Uh, Ashley said, yay, Kyle, he's looking so much better. Yes, he is. It's just amazing, really, um, how far he's come. Look at that. Look at that cute guy. Uh, and then we've got, uh, Shadow Garcia said, yo, what's up from, uh, from Twitch? How you doing? Uh, good to have you here, Shadow Garcia. And Wild Angel said, Kyle. Yeah. So, uh, we're just so happy to see him recover and like for I don't know, that first week we didn't know if he was gonna make it but um it looks like he's gonna he's gonna have a good recovery uh it's really exciting blockchain poodles uh yeah it said 100 so yeah blockchain poodles is loving this current crypto market as well i'm sure everybody else is too hopefully all right now let me go over some of kai uh or some of henry's updates so i don't have a, a picture lined up for him but uh Kyle uh, is, I don't know if I told you guys this, but they made an incision in his abdomen to try to find the other testicle during the, the neutering procedure because he, he had a testicle that hadn't dropped. Uh, he's a crypto orchid, they call it. And so they did an exploratory surgery to look for it and they couldn't find it. Now he's in recovery at Live Freely Sanctuary, where he is being quarantined before he comes here. And apparently, uh, Tanya had uh, one of the vets come out and look at him, and then she had some concerns. Uh, Tanya had some concerns about the wound healing, and Tanya took, um, took Henry back to University of Florida to, to look at his incisions. And it does, it did appear that an infection had started. Uh, and so they, they treated him for the infection, cleaned it up, rebandaged it and everything. Um, and luckily they caught that. Um, and they brought him back um, to live freely. So he is currently recovering from that. And again, he's gone through so much. He's gone through a lot. And it's just crazy how, you know, the stuff you can't anticipate any of this. So it's over $2,500, almost $3,000 in vet bills for him so far. So we are currently fundraising to cover those costs. So if anybody wants to help out, please do, because we need all the help we can get. Uh, all the links are in the description. They're tagged to the comments. And uh, just check out the Karma Farm Sanctuary link tree. And we take PayPal donations. We do Patreon uh, monthly memberships. We have shirts for sale that the, don the profits get donated to us. We got a crypto wallet. If you've got all these crypto gains and you want to donate the crypto wallets in the description of this video as well. So that's, uh, yeah, if you guys want to help out with uh, with Henry, the, the pig's surgeries, um, we could use it because that was not supposed to get to where it is now. We were hoping for it to be less than $1,000 and now it's almost a three because of all the complications because he's a crypto orchid and they had to go digging around looking for it uh so yeah uh unanticipated stuff it's been really stressful here for us with that and um trying to figure out fundraising to make that um happen so yeah been dealing with that like i said i have not been sleeping 
and you know bless kelly my wife for just keeping uh, everything rolling with the animals and making sure everybody's taken well care of while i'm trying to make uh, as much money as possible to cover all this stuff uh with with youtube and crypto and DeFi and my businesses and you know it's uh it we're we're doing we're doing well but at, at the same time like uh, this stuff it, it'll hit you out of nowhere and then you don't you don't know what to do so uh and then you scramble and you stay awake for two weeks hustling all night uh and then you figure it out you make a bunch of money and then boom it happens again a month later and you're like uh so yeah we just got to become multi crypto millionaires you guys that's that is the name of the game so that way i can put this thing on autopilot financially so i could just focus on more and more rescue work versus you know trying to constantly find uh more financial opportunities with with my businesses which have, have been super fruitful and we're super fortunate especially with my channel getting big and with like all the support from from you guys the community and especially with uh just all these with the with the crypto market all these companies want me to work with them and i just haven't even had time to evaluate half the proposals that have been sent to me so if you guys are waiting on something for from me i am so so sorry i have been freaking out like totally overwhelmed with everything going on i have not really been sleeping like i said i i'm barely getting like one or two hours of sleep a night if that so uh -huh. It's just been a lot to try to to just even keep up with like my DMs, emails, all these chat messages. I'm uh I'm very very far behind on that stuff, and I'm putting hours into it every day on top of making videos, negotiating deals, all this other stuff, fundraising, doing live streams on other channels. I do so many guest appearances nowadays on other people's channels. It's a great way to do outreach and to build up you know my community and my following here, and with Karma Farm Sanctuary as well. But that stuff just takes so much time to coordinate and to do. And uh, yeah, and it just never stops. So I'm doing like multiple live streams a week on other channels. You guys probably have never even heard of, but some of you probably came here from those channels. And uh, it's just wild time right now uh, when everything's moving so, so fast. And I'm just trying to embrace it and remain thankful and grateful for all of this uh, prosperity and abundance, right? And to make sure I accept it, I accept it that way. And not let it just like crush me with the overwhelming pressure of everything. If you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, uh, you guys. Hey, thank you so much, Blockchain Poodles. Super chatted me $10. Man, thank you. I love you, bro. I really appreciate that. You are amazing. And uh, you know, for that, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure you get added in to the uh to the giveaways today, blockchain poodles. So I really appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. All right. Um Let's see. Uh, Serenity said, "Poor Henry. Glad he is getting better." Yeah, me too. He's he's been through so much, and he's such a sweet boy. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve to go through any of this. But at least he's alive, right? If it wasn't for all of this happening, he wouldn't have survived because of the situation he was in before. And now that he is in the sanctuary and rescue networks and is being taken care of, um, like he he now has a chance to live. It's just unfortunate that his neutering procedure became so complicated. And that's always like one of the worst fears if you rescue a pig, especially because they don't do well under anesthesia. Uh, spays are even worse. They're really risky for pigs. Uh, this neutering procedure, we didn't anticipate it. We didn't know he was going to be a crypto orchid, but it is what it is. So we just got to take it in stride and, and keep on moving blockchain poodle said teamwork makes the dream work absolutely brother thank you man i agree i couldn't do this without any of you guys uh i couldn't do this without you guys i mean so many of you have uh you know pushed me and helped me along to this point uh and and you guys are pushing me further and higher than i ever imagined so thank you every one of you for just all the all the kind words the donations the support the shares the likes the comments the views everything uh i i i mean people tell me like hey so and so said this nice thing about you behind your back to me the other day and i'm like that's just so cool when i hear stuff like that like to hear that people you know are saying are they're talking behind your back but it's good things and that's like one of the coolest feelings ever 
So I, I love you guys. Seriously, your support means everything. I, I think so highly of you guys. The, everybody here in this community that that's with us, um, you guys mean the world to me. And this is only the beginning. I don't care what happens. I don't care how stressful it gets. I don't care how big this thing gets. I'm just going to keep charging forward like a madman until I die. All right. That's my plan. That's like my plan, right? That's, that is, that's how I have figured, like, that's my plan is so simple. just to go as hard as I can until I die. That's it. Like, I don't care about anything else, but just winning. All right. And winning in this mission means helping as many animals and people as I can before I explode or before I burn out or both. All right. That's my plan. Is it a good plan? I don't know. All right. It's obviously, it's very basic. It's, not, it's like, it's as simple as it gets. It's not over. It's not complicated. It's like, go hard or go hard until you die. Boom. That's it. Done. Like, if it gets more complicated than that, I'll get confused. And like, I don't got time to be confused. I got to act. Right. So that's the plan. And, uh, <laughs> and everybody who has gotten behind me on that plan, thank you. Right. I'm just going to charge ahead, blaze, blaze a path like a madman and whatever happens, happens. And then one day my heart will explode and uh, peace out, uh, peace out. And then hopefully all this stuff that we did here while we had time here lives on in some way to better people and animals going forward. That's, that's the plan you guys. So don't, <laughs> Uh, uh, um, blockchain poodle said you're doing it thanks man I, I appreciate that i'm i'm doing my best going as hard as i can all the time and um i got no chill serious i have zero chill the five shots of instant coffee in this espresso that i made probably isn't helping either but <laughs> oh man and then the blockchain poodle said animals over people i uh, man i I, I agree because you know with animals it's it's easy to to see their intentions where with some people you don't really know and and like an animal is just a very they'll be very straightforward with their with their needs and you can usually tell if if what you're doing is hurting or helping them now with people it's a little more complicated than that because <laughs> uh, people can have ulterior motives right Blockchain Poodle said always 100. Absolutely, always 100. And hey, we got Ben Damon in the house. Said, What's up? I'm finally back. Welcome back, Ben. Uh, haven't seen you in a while. I'm glad you're here, man. Funny Toro in the house saying, Hi, friends. How you doing, Toro? Glad to see you too. We we got we got the we got the we got the whole old crew here right now. Um, Blockchain said, I just had nine puppies. Oh my god, that is a lot of puppies, man. And he said three left. Yeah, that's that's a lot, man. Woo. And uh, blockchain poodle said, "Keep grinding, always, always grinding." I haven't stopped grinding basically since this channel started, like three years ago. Now, is that right? Three years ago? I don't even know. I'm losing my mind, but I love it. And uh, <laughs> if my yeah, I, I'm not actually losing my mind. All right, so don't throw me in the loony bin or anything like that. But um. I'm just so crazy that this might work. All right. That's, that's the plan. You got to have, you got to be somewhat crazy to, to do something big. Right. So that's, that's why I let myself have a little crazy in my life. Because if I wasn't crazy, I wouldn't believe in myself to do these incredibly huge things. And I have full belief, not only in myself, but in God leading me to go do those things. All right. So there you go. There's my there's my motivational speech for today. I hope you guys are all pumped up now like I am. <laughs> hey, we got Joe Warnock saying three years strong. Yes, sir. How you doing, Joe? So good to see you, man. I can't wait to see you. I know you're going to be coming here and visiting the sanctuary with your wife soon. Man, we cannot wait to have you, Joe. I love you, brother. Thank you for stopping by on the show. That is really, uh, really awesome. We got all sorts of friends in this community, you guys. It's huge now. Uh, we got so many friends, new and old, and just it's uh, it's overwhelming. I like as a human, I I can communicate through many ways, and using words for some of this stuff isn't enough, and it's hard to ex fully express myself with these uh, with these languages and these words that are so limiting. So I hope you guys can feel 
what I'm expressing in terms of gratitude and how thankful I am to be doing what I'm doing and for every one of you that I love so much. And I'm so glad you're all here with me on this journey. It's just, it's, it's an overwhelming human experience that I wouldn't trade for anything. It's just wonderful to be doing what I'm doing and to be able to be making an impact on lives uh, aside from my own. Even on like this guy, look at, look at, little, look at little Kyle, look at him, look at him. Uh, the fact that he's, <laughs> yeah, I love this. I love this video, by the way, Kelly, great angle on this video with Kyle. This is just wonderful. Uh, look at that sweet creature, right? If it wasn't for this YouTube channel and this animal sanctuary and all of you guys and everything leading up to this, Kyle wouldn't be alive, right? He wouldn't be alive with that glimmer, that that miraculous glimmer of life in his eye as he's experiencing a better life, right? And because of what we've all done here, he now has that. And the same goes for all the other animals that we have been able to touch in some way with what we've done here on our mission. It's amazing. And people too. We've touched so many lives of people, especially folks that are out here helping animals and, and trying to do good things in life. And to see that, and to see that glimmer of life in their eyes as they do what they do is just uh, endlessly rewarding to me on a spiritual level. So I, I am just so thankful, you guys. We got Serenity saying, keep going, buddy. Just like you pushed me, we will keep pushing you. And together, we will all make it to the top. Yes, sir. Yes, we will, Serenity. Uh, thank you, man. I, I'm so glad that I was able to help motivate you back when you were when you were thinking and formulating, is this for me? And I'm so glad you did because you're you're one of the best out here, man. And you're one of the best people I know. So uh, I appreciate you helping me. I mean, you've been pushing me and supporting me for for a year or two now. I, I've lost track of time, but it's been so long. And I uh, seriously am so grateful for your support. You, your family, uh, your community, you guys are uh, like the, your core, like your core, your bonks, like community to me. Um, so yeah, we will uh, all make it to the top. Absolutely. And the, the cool thing is with this community and this, uh, you know, this morality that we are operating on, um, we're not like, we're, we're not climbing over each other or other people to get where we need to go. In fact, I think most of the players out here in this community are fully embodying the principles of lifting others up above you, letting others stand on your shoulders. And in doing so, you get pulled up, right? That's kind of how I see this. Like the more folks I can help, the more animals I can help in some way, like I'm lifting them up and it's heavy, right? But at the same time, they're pulling me up and I'm not having to step on anybody in the process. Uh, whereas a lot of people, I think, like to, you know, climb up on other people to get to where they're going faster. And, you know, it might yield you some kind of physical, um, you know, uh, bounty or something here uh, temporarily, but it's often quickly gone if it's earned in the wrong way right so when i see other people like i don't know this is crypto i've got a million examples i'm sure you guys do too in terms of like rug pulls and people being dishonest or scammers in a in all the discord servers and telegram servers i feel like those people even if they they make a couple bucks temporarily they end up losing it or something bad happens uh like in terms of karma uh either way it's just it's it's not good and that's not how i would want to make my money to do what i'm doing here and it's cool that we have a community that that does not operate that way we have a community that helps people and helps each other and in a that roundabout way they help themselves and i love that principle we've 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 abided by that principle with this channel 
as long as I've been out here, that if whatever you put out, whatever you give, you end up getting back like seven times somehow in return in roundabout miraculous ways through the universe. And, uh, and that is just, that has just continued to happen year after year now. And this thing, whatever this, this enterprise is that we built has just been sailing along. You know, there have been bumps and, and hurdles, obviously nothing is perfectly smooth, but we have grown gang, like gangbusters. Right. And the, if you look at the percentages of how many YouTube channels or uh, animal sanctuaries get to where we've gotten to in this time, it is like a fraction of a percent, uh, a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percent. Um, and even like Serenity, like your channel, where you're at now, you are in like the, I, what was it? Like the top, like one, like so your top 10%, I believe, of all YouTubers already. Like that's, that's, that's incredible, right? Uh, but I think it's even it's even higher than that, probably top 5%. Uh, it's just wild to think about how far you can come in such a short period of time if you operate in a way that aligns with your values and you find people that operate with similar values and you help each other. It's such a cool thing to see. You know, we're not just uh, this. I'm not just like a one man army anymore out here. I'm a. Uh, I'm one man that's part of a army of 60,000 or a hundred thousand people like across all my social media platforms. It's nuts to think about. And uh, when I think about it, I get so excited about all like the support and love that you could see me like physically visibly getting excited about it. It's hard to talk about. There's no, there are no words really. Serenity said, Thanks, brother. Yeah, it's been over a year now. Yeah, man. I can't I can't believe it. If for those who don't know, Serenity quit his job completely as a journeyman electrician, one of the best. And he was like, you know what? I'm I believe in myself and I believe I can be uh, a, a crypto DeFi YouTuber. Uh, and I want to go all in on it. And he did it. And he is now doing this full time as a YouTuber, just like I did. And it's really exciting to see it from the, a third party perspective, like mine, see somebody doing that same thing that I did from beginning all the way to where he is now is so cool. And it's amazing because it's only the beginning. Like it's only, it's been a year now, bro. Wait for year two, wait for year three. It gets exponentially more insane. Uh, let me tell you, it's, <laughs> it only speeds up. So Make sure you've got your support system in place with family and friends and everything in your community because uh, it's it's a wild ride, man. And it just keep, I know you know that already. I know you're already you're on the ride. You already know. Um, it doesn't really slow down though. It only seems to speed up. So I hope you're enjoying it because it's only gonna get faster. <laughs> oh man! All right. So let's see. That th those are my animal sanctuary updates. Uh, that's my motivational speech as well. Now, let me give you some updates on some of my current plays. Uh, I know a lot of you have been following me uh, from the Syncus community. So this is gonna be my DeFi and crypto updates. So let me switch over to this tab. All right, uh, just to give you guys a quick quick update. So this 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 was crazy, by the way, this uh, this Syncus ride. So if you guys remember, my la like two weeks ago, I was up like eight to 10X from when I called this. And I know a bunch of you guys were taking profits, so good for you. I took some profits up here along the way. I'm holding most of my uh, initial bag still, but uh, it was crazy. I was up so much money when it was up at like 80 cents or 8 cents. And then uh, some uh, some big YouTuber dumped his whole bag. Now, and uh, and then there's like a panic sell off. And uh, now it's, you know, it's evened out and it's coming back up. It was way overbought though. Like this was bound to happen. Like it was going straight up for so long. It it was it had to have a pullback. I mean, you can't just go straight up forever. Uh so I was anticipating a pullback. Uh and it came back down and now it's going back up. Stair stepping. I'm going to do some uh content, do a follow-up video from my first one on this. Some things have uh changed, but overall, this is still a good trend if you ask me. Obviously, this was so much hype and FOMO going into this like 
I, I hope you guys took some profits uh, on this like exaggerated run up because that was crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing really well on this position still, and I am just going to keep holding and riding this thing. So Sync is doing well. I think I'm still up from when I initially called it and got my bag. I'm up like three or four X still at where it's. So, and I've already taken profits and initial off the table. So that's really cool. I'll be doing an update uh, more thoroughly separately later on. Uh, my next big thing that I'm looking at right now, by the way, is over here. So uh, I, I, I touched on this uh, a few weeks ago a little bit, and I said there, there is a new DEX coming with developers that we all know that have been running projects for years out here and have not done any rug pulls or anything like that. So when you hear something like that, a new DEX is launching with a known trusted team, then it's going to be a good time, most likely, all right? Because the yields from these yield farms of new newly launched DEXs are so insanely high because they are trying to attract outside liquidity for their DEX, their decentralized exchange. And in order to attract that outside liquidity, they have to put out, basically, they have to put out a lot of uh, yield. And they do that uh, with a high distribution in the first couple weeks or months, especially. So this is called CETO swap, C-E-T-O swap. And it's on Manta chain. If you guys have been following me for a while, you you would know that over the past few months, I've made a ton of money on Manta chain. All right. So the Manta network launched uh, around, I think it was like right around beginning of January. We I did the airdrop thing. I'll let you guys know about that. Hope you guys did well and made some money on the airdrop. I got a bunch of free Manta tokens, which is awesome. And it's three or four X since then. But I made way more money taking my Ethereum and staking it in yield farms on decentralized exchanges on Manta Network, okay? So I've been, I was making like one to 2% a day in, in Ethereum. I was making one to 2% a day in additional Ethereum plus some other extra tokens too. It was crazy. And I did that for a month or two. A bunch of you guys did as well. And I was getting DMs saying, oh man, this is great. When should we stop? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I, uh, I'm moving my position because it's not making as much as it was um, anymore on the quick swap. You know, the I diluted myself by telling the world I'm making one to 2% in Ethereum. Well, you know, over the next few weeks, everybody found out and 20 plus million dollars went into that one pool I was in. And now I'm making like 30 or 40% APY on it, which is amazing. It's in, it's in Ethereum and my Ethereum's going up. So I made quite a bit of money on that, which is awesome. And I put some of that towards the vet bills and, and these other things. That's why I love DeFi. It helps me use my money to make more money that I can then go, you know, do things with without having to, you know, sink into my, my, my initial capital of my portfolio. I can use what I earn to do things in life without having to shrink my savings account, essentially. All right, now. This is more advanced stuff. So for you new folks out here who are coming from the animal rescue world or like the bodybuilding scene or or wherever, do your own research, please. And this is kind of advanced stuff. This is what I call becoming the bank in DeFi, where you take the capital that you have already and you put it to work for you to earn more money, all right? And I know people out here are, they're just making a crazy amount of money. I know folks out here making like over a thousand bucks a day doing this. All right. And it not with not even a ton of money, like a six figure portfolio. And they're making like, like a, a thousand plus bucks a day. It's crazy. And even just a couple thousand bucks. Like I like to do this, like stuff like this, like 1500 bucks. I'll put like 1500 bucks in this pool, maybe 1500 bucks over in this pool. And I try not to spread myself too thin, but I do like to, to diversify just in case anything goes wrong with any of these staking pool contracts, all right? Now, the nice thing is with something like CETO swap, I know the, I know the teams. It's the DEX Finance team, all right? DEX Finance is, they're one of the first projects I ever made a video about. And it was one of my most popular videos when my channel first started. I was breaking down their uh, the DEX Finance ecosystem 
And that video got me so much attention and showed people uh, the level of knowledge and research I have in this space. And so Dex Finance and their community has always been uh, a blessing to me. And they have not rug pulled or anything like that. So we, I, I feel very safe, in my opinion, uh, putting funds in staking pools that their team developed. All right. That's part of my due diligence process. And I'm giving you my thought process so you guys can maybe learn from it. And, you know, don't just take uh, my word for anything, by the way. I'm just some guy on YouTube doing crazy DGen DeFi stuff to make money to run an animal sanctuary. My life's crazy, right? I'm a crazy person. Now, with that being said, do your own research and uh, make sure this is something that you're comfortable with, with anything I talk about, all right? Uh, but like I said, this is kind of advanced stuff. If you guys have been in DeFi for a few years, you are probably sitting here like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, you know, you are you can make 200% uh, APR on stable coins right now. All right. That's almost a person. That's like, that's like 0.75% a day in stable coins, guys, stable coins. All right. Now, obviously that's not going to last forever. This will quickly be diluted because I'm telling everybody in the world about it. All right. Uh, and it, this also, this is a new type of system. I, I'm going to put out a video about this because you earn CETO tokens and then you use those to get the uh, CETO 404 tokens, which is like a new kind of NFT with mechanisms. It's really hot right now in the space. It's trending. Some of these 404 projects are going nuts uh, on other networks and uh, they're going to be, uh, I believe the first ones over on Manta network to do them. Um, I don't have time to get into all of it right now, but I will make a separate uh, CETO swap video breaking all this down for you guys, okay? I'll make a maybe just like a 15-minute video just breaking down exactly how it works, but I wanted to tip you guys off to these crazy APRs, all right? On Manta Network, and I believe the TVL of this whole thing is still super low. I mean, they launched yesterday, I think. So, um, like, high APRs and... It's not diluted yet. So first mover advantage. That's that's the name of the game in, in new DEX launches. First mover advantage. So what I'm planning on doing when I get some time, God, I need more time. I need I need a team, I need like 10 assistants or something. I need like 10 executive assistants to just like do stuff for me. I I can't I'm just overwhelmed. Honestly, I even have a hard time even managing my portfolio because I'm doing so much other stuff at the same time. But this is my plan, and uh, I'd rather somebody take advantage of this if I'm if I don't get to move on it super fast. Um, so these APRs are crazy. Uh, USDC slash wrapped ETH, two hundred and ninety six percent APR right now. All right, and that's in CETO tokens. So you can take those CETO tokens and you can do a whole bunch of different stuff with it. You can sell it and take profit. You can make do the four hundred fours with it. You can whatever. You can sit on it. You can pair it with your wrapped ETH and go into the CETO slash wrapped ETH pool, which has 682% APR right now. That's like 2% a day, you guys. That's crazy. All right. Um, it's crazy. All right. That's why DEX launches are the best, especially if you know the team's not going to rug pull on you. Uh, and I believe with 99.99% certainty, this team wouldn't do that because they've been out here for, for years since before I was even out here. And they've, They've been just kicking ass. So they got a great reputation. Like uh, most of them are docs and everything. Everybody knows them. So that's what I'm saying. When when a DEX launches, and this is what I said last time with SparkSwap, and you guys made a killing on SparkSwap with me. What was that? Earlier this year? No, earlier last year. Was it early summertime when SparkSwap launched? How many of you guys were making like 1% to 5% a day with me for like months? That was nuts, all right? I built up my huge bag uh, for yield farming thanks to SparkSwap. Now I've moved that over to QuickSwap, and I'm making all this ETH that's getting even bigger. Now I'm going to move that over to Cito Swap that just launched. I'm going to get these crazy yields. I'm going to grow my bag even bigger, and I'm going to take some of it. I'm going to pay some vet bills for the sanctuary. I'm going to take the rest of it. And I'm going to keep farming, and then I'm going to find another farm at some point in the future and move it over there. That, that's the name of the game with this kind of thing if you're into yield farming and becoming the bank first mover advantage on these new swaps, but you have to do some due diligence and your own research to make sure 
it falls within your risk tolerance level for whatever position sizing that you use into each staking pool onto each dex onto each network etc cetera, etc cetera. map these all out make sure you are okay and you you're all right taking personal accountability for whatever you end up doing because i i'm not your dad right i i'm just some guy on the internet uh i'm not here to tell you what to do i'm here to tell you what i'm doing and if it helps any of you guys and you're able to come up with your own strategies and uh you know theses and formulas for why you're doing this then that's great i just want to help provide some value because i get dms all the time from people saying hey you helped me make ten thousand dollars thanks to you or this or that like that stuff is amazing when i hear those kind of uh that kind of feedback in my dms and this kind of thing like man if you make if you make anything over 20% on stable coins, it's just like, you can't beat that. You can't beat that anywhere in the traditional finance markets. It's crazy. And it, right now it's 10 times that it's 209%. If that lasts, even if it's over a hundred percent for even like a week or two, like that's just awesome and amazing. Now, I don't know if there are um, staking or unstaking fees. Like I said, I have not I have not dove into it yet, but I know the team behind it. I know the excitement behind it. And I know how these pools are not diluted yet. So the rewards are going to be super high. Uh, now, as my video gets out there, this video right here, and more people watch it, this will these will all get diluted a bit. And once I put out uh, a Cito swap video breaking this whole thing down, you can expect a lot of people to probably move into these pools. And the rewards go down because this APR is spread out amongst all the dollars that are staked as liquidity here, okay? So if this goes to a million dollars TVL in this one pool, you can expect this APR to go down proportionally in some way, all right? And they all, they have boosters here, just like some a lot of DEXs you're used to. So like this is a 19.5x boost on it. So this pool, they're boosting a lot because they want to get Cito swap and wrapped ETH liquidity because wrapped uh because ETH basically is the main token on Manta. All right. Um, the Manta token itself is like their governance token on the Manta chain and everything. But if you're using you use like ETH for gas, okay. And so this is how they're getting their ETH liquidity and uh for the CETO token. So that's why they're boosting this pool so much. All right. Um, and then obviously they'll boost these where they need the most liquidity for whatever growth strategy they're using. And you can oftentimes take advantage of that to make the most amount of money and yield uh, with your own strategy and make sure you have a take profit strategy of some kind. Uh, I, a lot of people, well, it is the bull market, right? So a lot of people will be farming to get the tokens to get their, their moon bag essentially for this bull run. So like if you believe in the CETO token and this this whole ecosystem and the 404 tokens, those could be super, super uh, profitable because we are going into the bull run, right? And the next one to two years could be worth a ton of money. So I always like to keep that in mind as I have a take profit strategy of like, I'll usually like sell half as profit, put it in stable coins or Ethereum or something. Then I'll take the other half and I will compound it back into my position. Uh, that's generally how I do it. And then I will watch the price action of both assets in the pools, and I will decide if it is still um, meeting my risk tolerance level for my uh, for my investment hypothesis, okay? And um, you have to constantly reevaluate that and check up on the prices for these things. Like with spark swap man if i would have kept a little bit more of my spark swap position i would be i would have so much money right now you guys i i took my profits uh at some point and at some point i made the call I'm like all right my, it's past my risk tolerance level i'm gonna pull out for a little bit and then i started doing other plays and stuff i look back like a few weeks ago during the bull run like this last run up oh my god it's it, my bag would have been huge if i would have just kept it there so there you go. Like AJ Brockman from EMP and SparkSwap, you know, kudos to you, man. You were right. <laughs> you were right on that one. Uh, but we all made a whole bunch of money there too. I know a lot of you guys are still in it. And uh, like, I still got a position in a sparkler. 
uh, there too. So anyway, I'm, I'm getting off track, but um, yeah, so that's my next play is Cito swap. I'm going to find some time at some point to move all my stuff from quick swap over here. And I'm going to be start farming. I'm going to put my raft ETH to work. I don't know exactly which pools I'm going to go in, right? Which, which, which ones I'm going to go into yet, but I will figure that out as I break down the numbers and go through my risk tolerance and everything. So, all right, there you go. That's my next play. Hope you guys make a shit ton of money on it. I know I will. Uh, and hey, nothing's guaranteed. All right. But I, I've gotten good at this. I'm confident in this one because I know the team and it's basically free money right now. So if you know how to get over to Manta and everything. Oh, and if anybody who has truth tokens or strategic tokens or whatever, um, Dex Finance uh, teamed up with that community to help them uh, get into this uh, with airdrops. So you can get some bonus airdrops if you bridge over with like truth tokens or strategic tokens or something i'll break it all down for you guys but i know a lot of you guys in my community had true tokens and everything and we're looking for something to do with it this is a way you can make money on your true tokens uh and potentially make a ton of money so um i think they have a pool even for strategic right here yeah strategic and manta 431 percent apr right now so if you guys have truth slash strategic tokens uh not financial advice but you could put them to work over here and make back uh, a lot of money um, and potentially make a really, really good amount of money from that. I know some people were, um, you know, have messaged me over the uh, past year, like, oh, is my truth to are my truth tokens going to be worth anything? And I'm always like, I have no idea. Like, you got to talk to the team and community and stuff. But right now, those truth tokens and strategic tokens are highly valuable because of this launch. So, if you guys have those, put them to work. Don't, not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. If I had them, I would put them to work. All right. I, I've, I've always like, I have to be so careful how I talk on YouTube because I don't want to tell people ever what to do. Right. Uh, especially when money is involved because people get so, so emotional over it and they overinvest. Right. People overinvest when, when they see all these numbers and all this stuff. But um, you got to be, you got to be methodical. You got to have a strategy. And you got to be careful. And you got to like not put in more than you're willing to lose. Think about this like a like a casino or something. I know it's a terrible analogy, but like you wouldn't go put your rent money in, in a, you know, on the blackjack table or something. Um, so I always say like take your winnings and like grow them and just keep like keep rolling it up, keep rolling it up. And then you don't have to mess with your household budget. You know, your, your lights stay on. You don't get evicted. You still have food to eat. Your wife doesn't divorce you. Like you, you can still maintain an animal sanctuary with that stuff. But then over here, you got this whole bag you've been building up for the last three years that is making you almost as much money as your, uh, your business. All right. And it's growing at like at, it's scaling at the same time. All right. Anyway, that's my plan. I'm going to see to swap next. Now let's do some giveaways. You guys, what do you say? Taylor X eight Taylor said, uh, Oh, said, uh, he just became a member. Welcome to the Yabongs club, Taylor. Thank you so much for joining, man. I really appreciate it. I will make sure to get you in on this giveaway here today. Um, let me just double check, make sure. All right. I got you here. All right. You are, you are in the giveaways for today, Taylor. Thank you for uh, joining the Yabongs Club once again. And let's go ahead and pull up the, the wheel. Serenity said, great show. Alex got to do my hair before the party continues. If you guys didn't know, Serenity runs a show right after this one. So he uh, he will be doing the Freaky Friday show tonight uh, at uh, 8 p.m. So in the next like 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to do this giveaway real quick. And uh, let's see. Ashley said, got to set up. Got to get set up this week and start trading. Kick me in the butt next week if I haven't. All right, I will. And I hope you have been following Serenity's uh, show. What's it called? Uh, Rags to Riches, where he and uh, Cyril show how to build up a portfolio and get into all this stuff slowly and methodically uh, without doing anything you know too crazy, like some of the stuff I do. But again, I've been doing this a while. So if you get into crypto and DeFi, like take it slow, dip your toes in, get your feet wet before you like dump your whole bank account in into the crypto world as I, I have done myself in the past and regretted it because I was running off of emotions 
and FOMO, fear of missing out, more so than uh, disciplined strategies and trading hypotheses. So make sure you got everything planned out and have a slow, a slow entry, uh, dollar cost average into stuff and be just very careful with everything you do. And, and it should be a much better experience for you over the long term. Whereas somebody like me, who's very impulsive and highly emotional, I have blown up my account multiple times learning this trade over 20 years or so, uh, not just crypto, but stock trading, day trading, swing trading, options trading, forex trading, all this stuff. I have blown up some accounts, all right? And it's, it is it is a terrible feeling when you do that because you know you, you shouldn't have done it. You know you shouldn't have invested everything into this one play because you're so sure, oh, it's going to the moon. I'm going to be a millionaire. I just need to put a little bit more money in. And then all of a sudden it's all gone. And you're just like, oh, shit. Whoops. Can I take that back? Nope, it's done. <laughs> you can't. There's no takesies backsies out here uh, in the crypto world. All right. So, you know, be wise, use discernment, have good judgment. And when things are exciting, you know, calm down and look at it and evaluate it. Make sure it still makes sense. All right. And position your, uh, size your positions accordingly, diversify, hedge your bets. Don't ever go all in on anything and don't use more than you're willing to lose. Yada, yada, yada. Responsible human being things. I must say as a, a YouTuber that talks about financial stuff, all right, now I'm going to do a $10 giveaway um, out of my wallet. Right now I've got a, a little bit of stable coins or BNB in one of my wallets, and I'm going to give $10 to somebody who wins the, uh, the giveaway. And if you win, I will make sure to uh, send it to you sometime over the next week or so. And to... Uh, to Kazanon, who won last uh, two Fridays ago, I did send that out, by the way, so check your DMs. I sent you the receipt for it uh, for your giveaway. Now, let's go ahead and spin the wheel in three, two, one. Here we go. Mulligan said, so true. So true, man. It like I know people say it's the DeFi tuition, right? Blowing up your account. But if you don't have to pay it, you shouldn't like you can you can learn out here uh without blowing up an account like me <laughs> hey hope giver hope giver congratulations that is so awesome i love hope giver she's wonderful congratulations hope giver on winning ten dollars in probably bnb i don't know i have to check my wallet to see what i have um what i have liquid right now but hope giver you just won ten dollars congratulations she uh she was on Serenity show a couple weeks ago wearing a Carnival Farm Sanctuary shirt, you guys. And it was heartwarming. And she had just the nicest things to say about Carnival Farm Sanctuary and me and Kelly and the animals and our community. So hope giver, congratulations. I'm so glad you won. You you more than deserve it. You're a wonderful person. And uh I can't wait to uh send that over to you. So congrats, hope giver. And uh let me go ahead and minimize this now. Um, Mulligan said, I paid for the school of hard knocks, man, me to, I paid it quite a few times. I've put it, I paid that probably, I don't know, I, tens of thousands of dollars. I have lost to blowing up accounts over the last like 15 years. Um, and I, each one, I learned a new lesson. <laughs> Oftentimes I learned a lot of the same lesson, even more. But there's always something to learn from them. And uh, it's just those those few principles I just rallied off. Like, you know, don't play with more than you're willing to lose. Diversify. Don't go all in on anything. And, yeah, size your positions accordingly. And if it seems too good to be true, slow down and uh, reevaluate and make sure that it still makes sense. Because there are opportunities out here that do seem too good to be true, right? Like, what I was just showing you guys, making over a percent a day on a blue ch on blue chip assets, like that seems too good to be true, and it generally is. However, there are times and opportunities where it is true for a period of time, and you have to know how to take advantage of that. And you also have to know how to take profits in those situations to 
uh, realize those kinds of uh, th those kinds of uh, of yields. So there's a lot that goes into it, and you really have to learn these things firsthand uh, yourself versus just taking somebody's word for it. Although the best way to avoid those situations yourself is to listen to somebody who's been through it <laughs> multiple times and can tell you what to look out for and give you maybe a little bit of, uh, of, of, you know, uh, personal history of how they, uh, fell into those traps in the past and how they avoid them now. All right. So that way you can avoid those pitfalls before you fall into one yourself. Cause you could be like, Hey, so-and-so mentioned that could be an issue. So I'm going to, I'm just going to sidestep that real quick. That's, I think the ideal way to learn, but a lot of people don't, a lot of people, uh, won't learn from something that's free. And that's an, it's an interesting human psychological phenomenon. A lot of people won't learn if it's free and they will learn if it costs them something because there's a little pain involved that really burns it into your memory. And that's why I think that DeFi tuition that Mulligan and I have learned from that the school of hard knocks makes those lessons so deeply ingrained personally into your being that you will go out of your way to avoid them. And it becomes a part of you like, Oh, Nope, not, not, not gonna go down that route again. That cost me $7,000 last time. Nope, never again. Like that's those lessons. They were expensive, but man, they, they get taught to you hard and you do not forget that pain. So like the sitting up late at night with your stomach turning, thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to live with myself after this? I'm ruined, blah, 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 blah. But you can always make more money. All right. So don't ever get so down that you want to kill yourself or anything like that or whatever, like snap out of it. If you, if you're in one of those situations and realize, yeah, well, okay. You, you messed up. Some money's gone. You can make more money. You'll be back where you were in no time. Don't even don't like, yes, let it hurt a little bit. So you remember it, but don't do anything stupid or rash and just like, let it go. All right. Just be thankful. You got the opportunity to learn this lesson it was very expensive, but that's how valuable that lesson is to you, okay, in that point in time. It was that valuable to you to learn that. That's the cost of that tuition. Always remember that. Some people out here might pay $100,000 to learn that lesson, okay? That's okay. That's how valuable it is to them. And if, if they keep going and learn from it, that $100,000 lesson might be worth $10 million down the road. So think about the big picture. A lot of us will get in that, like in that situation and then be like, Oh no, it's, it's all over. I've ruined. Uh, like it's never all, it's never over. You can always, you can always keep going and you can always start over, but better than starting over is learning how to stay in the game, learning how to never strike out completely. Just, Sometimes uh, a few singles uh, is better than a grand slam. Okay. You can't, you can't have a grand slam every single time. So sometimes you got to bunt or maybe go for a double or, or a home run here and there. But uh, the, the key is to not strike out completely, stay in the game and keep playing. And eventually you, 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 you win and you keep winning. So that's what we're all here to do. We're all here to learn how to do that together and share our, our our war stories, share our battle scars like Mulligan and, and me here. Now, I'm going to uh, catch up on some of these comments and then uh, head over to Serenities. So Ashley said, Seeley just woke up and is saying hi. Hi, Seeley. Nice to see you, buddy. I hope you're doing well, man. I, I hope you're feeling strong. Um, stay stay strong, man. Uh, and Ashley said, Seeley just woke up and saying hi, Alex. Yep. So that is so awesome. Ashley, tell Seeley I said hello. Give him a hug for me uh and, and tell him uh i I'm, I'm right there with them uh I, i'm really glad uh i'm really glad to hear from you Seely, and you too ashley so thank you guys for everything you do and uh thank you uh Seely and ashley for everything you guys do for the animals so i know you guys do so much for the animals the animal rescue and sanctuary communities uh, and i really appreciate it i appreciate all the stuff you guys share on all your social media networks um not only for karma farm but for all these other sanctuaries and organizations 
It's so important. And, and thank you guys. You're amazing. Seriously. Now I've got to wrap this up. I got a whole bunch of stuff I got to do. I've got, uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff that I owe a lot of people right now in terms of work and business and videos and stuff. And I, I got to make sure I honor them, even though I'm late on a bunch of stuff. And I apologize to everybody who is waiting on stuff for me and everybody who I have not responded to yet in DMs or emails. I am not, I'm not trying to ignore anybody. I got just so many. I don't even know who all is messaging me. I've got hundreds, like on all my social media apps, it's hundreds of people. And it's super overwhelming to me um, to even just scroll through it and try to go through a couple at a time every day. So be patient. I will get back to everybody. Everything's gotten really crazy in my life with this business and these social media brands, the YouTube channel, the crypto market, everything's going nuts. Uh, the animal sanctuary is going nuts. I love it. It's craziness, but I love it. And I love you guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys next week and expect some uh, awesome videos coming out from me on the Yabonks channel and expect a whole bunch of amazing animal sanctuary content to be coming out on the Karma Farm Sanctuary channel and Facebook and Instagram and all that. I've got some bodybuilding content I want to publish here soon. I got some awesome pictures during my cut that I'm on right now. So that'll be cool if you guys follow me on Instagram for my bodybuilding stuff. Yeah, um, it's really exciting. And I thank you guys all for everything. You guys are the best. Ashley, I, I totally agree. Ashley said, community is important. See you soon. Go see Christ Spiracy in theaters on Sunday. We can send you tickets if you need them. I would I would love that. I've been really wanting to see Christ Spiracy so badly. Um, I just, yeah, um, I don't know uh, the scheduling of the showing and all the theaters and stuff, but if I can make that happen to go see that, I would love to. I know everybody's talking about that movie. You know I love Jesus. I love Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed to say that. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, yada, 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 YOLO. It's out there, everybody. I love Jesus, all right? So I hope you guys know that I love Jesus. I serve Jesus. And uh, all glory and praise be to God Almighty, all right, you guys? So I can't wait to see Christ Spiracy. Ashley, thank you for, for offering to send me tickets for that. You're amazing. You're you're a sweet soul. Uh, Mulligan said, till next week, good luck to all of you. I agree, Mulligan. Till next week, man, good luck to all of you. And to all the winners uh, from the giveaways, I'll send over uh, your prizes soon. See you guys on the next one. See you on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Telegram, YouTube. I'll see you guys everywhere. I love you all. Good night.